Dalhart will kick it away in the purple uniforms to the Perryton Rangers. Perryton will receive the ball on the right side of your listening device, and the kickoff is up, and it's away. Fielded at the 30-yard line. The starburst play has Rigdon breaking a big one. He's at midfield to the 40, to the 30, to the 25, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Dalton Rigdon. That's the way to start it. With a kickoff return of 67 yards. How about that, sports fans? Perryton is on the board. Six to nothing on the starburst play on the kickoff. Lemunyan caught it, turned his back to the field. They went to the first option who was Rigdon on the far side of the field. It really was fast developing instead of one of those slow developing. Who's got the ball? Where's it going to go? The handoff was quick. Rigdon saw an opening, a channel down the home sidelines, and he took it to the house. Six to nothing, Rangers, and the PAT is upcoming. Brad will reverse that previous comment as opposed to giving the starting lineups for the offense. We'll get you on the defense after this PAT, which bounces to the holder, Lemunyan. He's in trouble, and he's sacked on the play. PAT no good. 68-yard kickoff return. Perryton 6, Dalhart 0 on the radio tonight on 98.3 KXDJ. Side, home side. This is kind of the fun. You feel the fun of November football. Straight back drop for Lujan. Passes the ball off to the left side. It's complete. First down yardage and more. Down the sidelines. Cut into the inside at midfield. Trying to go to the 30-yard line and finally tackled by Dalton Rickman. That's Lujan Dominic. under center. Rolls to the right. Tosses the ball over the top of the defense. It's caught by Martinez. Down to the goal line area. Pushed out of bounds and a flag comes in. It'll be first and goal to go. Barring. We'll see what Dalhart does. You would think with their running mentality that they would say to themselves, we got this, and they put in the jumbo package. A fullback, extra, makes one of three running backs in the set. You would think that Smith would get the call. Instead, Lujan takes a one step backwards, fakes out the defense with the attempted handoff, and then opens up a hole in between the center and the guard, and he just runs right through it. Touchdown, Wolves in a favorable numbers position, kind of a three-on-two type position, and he took advantage of it and went in for the score. Here's the straight-on kick, and it's good. Just like that, Dalhart moves down the field, 65 yards, 75 yards, and seals the touchdown with the PAT. They lead it 7-6 to six on the radio tonight on 98.3 KXDJ. The offensive unit, third down and 15 from the 24-yard line. The fake handoff to Somerville. Pass over the middle. Rigdon has it at the 45. Falling forward to the 48-yard line, and that's enough for a raging Red Ranger. First down. First down, Inside 10 side of Dalhart territory. Gain of six on the play. Third down, four in the fast break offense. All red got him to jump. Flag is up. It's a free play. All the way to the left side. Caught. Oh, my goodness. Over the shoulder. Touchdown, Rangers. How about that, sports fans? Hadley Allred tosses an over-the-shoulder catch. It's caught on the play by Clay Fager at the 15-yard line. Just looking over his shoulder, it fell in like a, well, like a ball out of nowhere. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown Rangers from about 46 yards out. Great job there by Hadley. That back shoulder fade. He's been he's been doing a very good job at throwing that particular pass most of the year. And that was the free play hard count. Get him to jump off sides. Touchdown play that we draw up. And this time the snap is much better. The kick is up and it's through. Torres puts it up and in. And with 4-10 left in the first quarter, the Rangers have run back into the lead. They lead it 13 to seven on the radio tonight on 98.3 KXDJ. From your left to your right, moving the football. Smith gets the handoff and goes nowhere. He's triple tackled in the backfield and a loss on the play behind the 25-yard line. Sean, Sean, Sean Walton with a great push right there. He was, he was two yards in the backfield by the time the running back got the ball. Christian Kano getting tackled on the play with a loss and then with a short gain, and as it turned out, it's a 13-yard carry. Here's Luan, hands off again to Smith, and he's going nowhere. Walton's got his number and takes him into the backfield and sacks him. That right-hand side of the defense has determined that I'm tired of you running against us. We're going to shut that door. 
Here's third down and long. This time Smith back in at the shotgun. A fumble uh -oh. on the play, and maybe, just maybe, Perryton has the ball with Smith pitching the ball to his quarterback. Something trickery was going to happen there, and it didn't work out so well if you're a Dunhart Wolves fan. It's Perryton football at the Dalhart 30. How about that? Six so far, and now knocking on the door. The red zone is only 10 yards away. The end zone is 30. They'll go to the air. Looking down the field, all red. Zip pass into the center. Complete at the 11-yard line by Dalton Rigdon. Big playmaker. No, that's Logan Lemunion. as I look up. The two has turned from an eight. Lemunion with a big catch. 19 yards on the carry there. Here's the first. And uh, trying to catch that number, Brad, but the young man just doesn't show his numbers. And here's a, another free play by Hadley Allred into the end zone. Chase Newcomb bobbles it, juggles it, and brings it down. Touchdown, Rangers. How about that? So for several weeks, we hadn't been able to see Allred get anybody to bite on the hard count. Mainly, I think, Brad, because those were on third and fourth downs. He's mixed that into his cadence here early on in the uh, in the play selection as opposed to waiting until it's an obvious hard count situation. And Hadley Allred hits Jace Newcomb for a 21-yard pass, and the Rangers are up 19-7 with the PAT upcoming. Here's the snap. It's good. The hold is good. The kick is up, and it is good. 20 to 7. Perryton with a minute 10 left in the first quarter on the radio on 98 3. KX DJ. And get the ball underway. Still 17 seconds on the play clock. This will be a handoff to Ottinger. First down yardage and more. Midfield into Delhart territory. Past the 45 and close to the 40 yard line where Trent Ottinger will be tackled at the 41. Move the chains. It's a raging Red Ranger. First down. Perfect play call there. And he got the tackle there. Here's all red back in the shotgun. Trip receivers to the left side. He's flushed and sacked on the play. Couldn't get out of the grasp. Or Welcome back, everybody. Quickly, the handoff. This time it'll go to Ottinger from the six-yard line. Bounces in at the two and pushes into the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. Trip Ottinger from six yards out. And that's the fourth touchdown of the ball game for the Rangers. They're a point after away from making it a 20-point lead. Lemunian set for the hold. Having a, a little bit of a leg issue and uh, not 100%, so he'll be taken out on the play. Here'll be a handoff to the big John Walton. Did he get in for the yes, end sir. zone? He is. Two-point conversion is good to Sean Walton, of all people, out of the backfield. And now it's back to a square four-touchdown lead. Perryton 28, Dalhart 7 on the radio tonight at 98-3 KXDJ. Perryton has just put up another touchdown on the board. Ottinger from six yards out and a PAT by Sean Walton and an onside kick. And Perryton has the football. Oh, my. Oh, they're going to give it to, they may give it to Dalhart saying he yeah. had possession of it and it rolled out, but what a play there after, a, I'm not sure that was supposed to be an onside, but it was kind of a squibber off the side of Torres's foot, rolled the 10 yards past the 50-yard line up to the 47, the uh, Dalhart to seven, Perryton in front, all red shotgun look, two wide outs either side, short side of the field to the left, lob pass down to Ottinger, got it! Touchdown, Rangers! Oh, my! Where have these boys been? But they're here tonight. All red. Two Oninger. Back-to-back touchdowns for Oninger. One by the run, two by the air. He's got two in the books. Hadley All Red, three touchdown passes tonight. This one from 34 yards out. PAT upcoming to make it a 35 point ball game. Kick is up and it is good. 4.33 left in the first half. Perryton all over Dallar tonight, 35 to seven. On the radio on 98.3 KXDJ. Welcome back everybody, Bill Bob Thrash. That other voice is Brad Herring from A-Tech for you. One of the many 
proud Booster Club sponsors that help this program get on the air, and we thank them. Encourage you to shop with them if you get the chance. A draw play goes nowhere. Back to the 10-yard line, Sean Walton. Well, he's done everything tonight, Brad. He's made tackles. He's scored a two-point conversion. And that. PerrytonAC.com. That's PerrytonAC.com. And check out all the things that the folks at the Perryton Activity Center have in store for you. And for those basketball teams, sign-ups have happened, but teams will be selected next week. Kickoff is up, fair catch is called for, but Perryton jumps on the ball. They've got another special teams fumble recovery. Oh my. Welcome to the third quarter, everybody. Yeah, number 50, Jordan Johnson, heads up play there, saw that it was muffed and jumped on the ball. And Perryton will have the ball starting the third quarter on offense as the Wolves give up another fumble recovery. 35-yard line, first down 10, all red, wide open is Rigdon at the 20, 15, tripped up at the 10, falls at the 8-yard line, first down, goal to go for the Rangers. There's just everything that could possibly go right tonight going right for the red and white. Yes, it is. Incredible. And, and how much there, Sean Walton has become not only a defensive standout, but he's become a running back here. And he crawls back in the backfield once again. A three-headed monster back there in the backfield, and Walton will get the call again. He's in for the score! Sean Walton with a touchdown. Oh, my. Everybody gets a piece of the action here tonight. Touchdown Rangers, 41-7. to seven. And we're only a minute six into the third quarter. There's getting so many scores, Brad, that I'm trying to do all these scoring recaps by memory, and it's like playing Simon. You better get your pencil out. I know. Uh, that's a big, heavy package that they're putting in there with Walton as a fullback uh, and kind of a wing T formation. Here's Lemunyan's hold for Torres' kick. It's up and it's good. Rangers on the board again, 42 to seven in the third quarter after the halftime break. They kick it off, they keep it, they score. That's how we roll. On the radio on 98.3 KXDJ. One of those four big heavies up front and there's been more that's come off and rotated in and out, but those big heavies tonight have really made a difference. Here's a first down and 10 for Dalhart. Again, Smith is the quarterback after Lujan, the opening quarterback, hasn't been seen. He's MIA and Smith tries to get out of trouble and the defense says, uh-uh, uh no, you didn't. And they drop the quarterback for another loss on the play and they've come in with all their ears pinned back here tonight. Yeah. Martinez or Dom, Dominic Martinez was uh, supposed to get that ball on a handoff, and uh, the defense was in the backfield so fast that that uh, Smith went ahead and pulled it and tried to make something out of nothing, and and uh, still lost what four yards? Yeah, it's right side hash mark ball spotted. Here's Lujan drops under for the hard count, hands the ball off. It's a fake. Here comes the defense. They almost get the sack on the play, lob it over, and Newcomb picks it off. Jace Newcomb with the interception, and Dalhart's interception woes continue. The pass was intended for Chandler Renshaw. Renshaw was one of those two players arguing with the uh, officials earlier, and Renshaw kind of, I think, lost, maybe lost that focus. And as so Newcomb. This is uh, one of those where you uh, put the seven iron back in the bag and you hit the eight. Torres with a kick, it's up, and it is good! Lewis Torres from 40 yards. Rangers lead it 45-7 to on the radio tonight at 98.3 KXDJ. They've had as many turnovers as they've had possessions, I can almost guarantee that. Wolves inside of uh, Perryton territory. Lujan back at quarterback. Pitch goes to Talos, has a blocker to the 40. Has that ball swinging way out like a chicken wing, but is able to tuck it up as he's hit at the 35 by Torres and dropped at the 33. First down 10, Dalhart as they move the ball closer to the goal line. Here's a second down goal situation and into the end zone. Touchdown, Dalhart. They're on the board in the second half. That's surprising. Boys Ranch got a safety on Canadian. Maybe a snap on the hit. Yeah, unless that's just a unless that's just a misprint on my little my little gadget here that gives me scores. 
But uh, yeah, 62 to two. Of course, I think at this point, I'm sure that the third and fourth stringers are playing, but at least Boys Ranch did score. Dalhart in for the touchdown on the second down goal to goal situation from the two yard line. And the kick will be upcoming. 45 to 13 as it stands right now. Snap is snappy. Kick is up and it's good. 45-14, Perryton with the lead in the fourth quarter with 11.57 left here in the ball game. We're back in a minute on 98.3 KXDJ. Now trips to the left, second down 10 after the first down carry by Somerville a moment ago. Clock stopped with 10.18. Spinning around, handing the ball off to Somerville. The little back that could bounces inside the 35, forward to the 30-yard line, and that's going to be a gain of almost 10 on the play, and that may be a first down, but then again, it may not. It's going to be third down and about, looks like about uh, a half yard needed. Again, trips left. But most importantly, the Perryton Rangers are moving on to the playoff postseason as they defeat the Dalhart Wolves here tonight from Dalhart, 45 to 14. We're back with the postgame show after this break. You're listening to Perryton Ranger football on 98.3 KXDJ. 